Hey guys, the Intermodal Trucker here. My name is Larry, and we got the driveway all plowed out. Everything's all done there. But uh, we got a little bit of snow here, and I thought, hey, I gotta put the snowmobile away before I take off here. And I thought, let's take a real quick tour of the farm. You guys can see what we're doing out here. So I got the snowmobile all warmed up. Gonna run it for a bit. Got the truck over there running, getting warm. So, let's do this. Let's see, where do we want to go first? Uh, let's go to the Little Woods. This actually used to be a pond right down here. This all used to be a pond over in this area. And um, the, um, there used to be a big dam here. And when I was a little kid, we actually used to come out here and do ice skating and stuff. But then one year this broke through and it all drained out. This was the pasture for our cows and everything. And uh, this all drained out and we just kind of left it. There was a, a bunch of red tape you had to go through to rebuild it with the DNR and everything. So so we just left it. This over here is a, a pump that my dad has set up that he uses uh, to pump water up for his garden. He actually has a uh, really big garden and he sells produce and stuff. He likes doing that. This is the Little Woods. It uh, goes up on top of the hill there. And all this. There's actually some sinkholes back over in this area. That's some animal crossing there. There's actually a few little sinkholes back in here. We've actually gotten cows stuck in there. and We had cows and we'd have to come out here and the tractor and pull them out of there. This used to be like a, kind of like an ATV trail. We used to have this worn out pretty good. When my kids were younger, we used to have this whole course around here and, and uh, the kids would be running around here like crazy. I was looking for the lane that went up the hill, but I think it's all overgrown. I haven't been up there in so long. This is just a fluff snow, so there's not a lot of traction for my tractor. Yeah, but I don't want to get stuck going up there. This, uh, yeah, let's go over here. A lot of deer in here. We usually don't hunt this until Thanksgiving Day. And then uh, Thanksgiving Day, we hunt all the other woods around here. And then Thanksgiving Day, everybody kind of meets here before dinner. And then uh, if we got two or three, four tags left to fill, then we drive this little swamp thing and all the deer kind of hide in here and we push them out and kind of get what we need. Uh, I haven't been in here for a while. Looks like my bridge is actually falling apart. Oh well. But this has really been overgrown. Might be hitting a few twigs here. Making a path here. Oh, got hooked. Woo. 
That tree tried to catch me. Best where to go. Looks like we got some open water here. This is actually a spring back in here. It feeds through here. This is where it starts, right in this area and back where I crossed over there. It all flows into here. And it goes off and it actually feeds that swamp back there. This is where it starts. So we got a little open water we gotta get across. Let's see. Something stuck in my track. There it is. There's a big chunk of ice up underneath there. Must have broke loose. Go up to the big woods. This whole field used to be my parents. All the way from the woods all the way up. I think it's like 160. It's either 160 or 120, I'm not for sure. 120 acres, 160 acres. Pretty rough. She's a plowed field, so I don't have enough snow to really cover up the ruts. Boo! That one caught me. This is the big woods. I think this is uh, 25 acres. And you can see a tree stand right there where we hunt out of. This here, you see all the animal tracks up here? This here is going to be the future site of my brother. He's going to build a house right in here. This is gonna be his front lawn. It's gonna be a pretty nice view. Overlooking here, you can see the windmills all up there. This place is uh, really turned into windmills out here, all the farmers. You can see 
this orange thing on the tree here this actually used to be a snowmobile trail many years ago and they um i don't know why but they moved it over on the other side <coughs> we never told them they couldn't have it but here but they just kind of moved it this is actually a lane here we drive up through here and we cut wood out of here and stuff seeing if we jump any deer out of here This one here actually used to be my dad's tree stand, but he hasn't hunted in quite a few years, so it's kind of fall apart. So that'll probably be falling down soon. If you can see it or not you see this round thing that's up ahead of me here um, when I owned my hobby store I used to use this whole corner here and we used to have um, uh, paintball tournaments out here for the hobby store Kind of animal walking through there. Trying to remember where the lane is here. Right here. Other tree stand is somewhere right in here. But I don't see it. I know it fell down, but I thought he rebuilt it. But he might be. Uh, he might be. He might put up a metal one when he's gonna hunt, like a portable one. Over there where you can see those trees there falling down, that's actually another person's at the very corner of the woods is somebody else's. You can see a house, I don't know if you can or not, but there's a house right through there. That's um, Baker Cheese. And uh, the guy who owned Baker Cheese, he, he uh, retired and he built this house up here in the corner of the woods. He's been trying to buy this woods forever because he wants to own the whole chunk, but it's not his. Oh, right here. Right here is where my brother's tree stand was. I 
right up there, but it's not there anymore. I don't know where he's put it. But he, this is where he hunts right here. Here's the 40 acres. They don't hit me there. This whole field here, out to the road there, out to that tree line, that's the 40 acres. Actual snowmobile trail actually crosses right down by those yellow signs right down there. It's right by that big tree goes back into there. We just don't talk about. <laughs> this here, I think this is about five acres. Not really sure. This is kind of a wet area. Where I am right now, it's usually okay. But down in the bottom down there, she gets pretty wet, so you gotta kind of plant it late in the year and then and then uh my mouth thing keeps getting stuck here. And uh and then you also gotta pick it late in the year too when it's getting cold and freezing up. We had a tree fall down in the field this year and we got a guy that wanted some wood. He asked if he 
had some woods or something we could get some wood out of and said, well right there is a perfect opportunity we had a windstorm some trees got blown down so he's supposed to be coming out here next little bit come and get it I told him I said anything in this uh, tree line right here he can have it's a drainage ditch actually for these fields and so we really don't need the trees in it but but this here I believe is I think 25 acres same thing over in this corner right in this corner it gets wet so you can't wait you can't plant it early and you gotta pick it later these hills over here actually is all state land and uh, a lot of people come out and hunt in here and those woods over here down in that area that's all state too and that's um it goes into a big swamp it's they call it it's a tamarack swamp it's real black muck in there and there's some big deer down in there boys they come out of there and they got muscles like crazy because they're trudging through all that black muck down there all the time so it builds their muscles turkey hunting and stuff up in there and pheasants and everything we're up on top of this hill and you guys can get kind of a view this place over here actually used to be my brother's my parents gave it to him I think it's two acres or an acre and a half something like that and um, he put that trailer house on there and he didn't build a garage we put the trailer house on there and put a little addition onto it got it all set up and then uh, he was going to school he was a welder and he went to school trying to improve things and ended up getting a degree and he was offered a job on Colorado so he sold that and and uh, moved out to Colorado but here you can see the country at the windmills over there again those are a different set of windmills from before that house right over there is actually owned by uh, one of the owners of ottery trucking that's where he lives he's always trying to give me hey come work for me no no couple young kids they came out and asked me the guy is big into shooting came out and asked me if he could set up a thing and throw clay pigeons out there and shoot them I said yeah no problem so a lot of times on Sundays he sits out there shooting him and a couple friends This up here, right from those tree line here, this used to be my parents. And they had a deal with all the kids or whatever that everybody gets, you know, a two acre lot or whatever. And nobody really took it at the time. And they decided to sublot that out and they sold it. It's really rocky. Uh, soil up here 
and so it's always it's a pain it was always such a pain of picking up the rocks out in this field was always such a pain and so they ended up selling it and they really got a lot of money out of that um, they sold all these lots and they got these three houses in here and um, the guy down here in the end the last guy down there that big house back there he actually bought <coughs> from this here he <coughs> bought it all back and it goes all behind the houses he bought the whole lot and put that house up there I think he had some teenage kids or something like that this a couple months ago I came by here and there was cars all lined up here cops all in here I think they were having a party and I got busted the cop, I pulled by and the cops like looking at me I'm like I'm living on here let me alone and right here is actually the snowmobile trail it runs right down this road here goes down there and it cuts through through some fields <clears throat> and then it comes right across here you can see the little orange stakes that's where the snowmobile truck grows we just haven't had enough snow to get it groomed we got this little bit now if this sticks around and we get some more they'll be out here grooming this and guys will be ripping through here There's metal posts in here. I think we should get out of here. So you get the view from up here. It's really nice up here, but boy, does it get windy. to have a pretty good size farm but they sold off some of his lots and everything and uh, we used to milk cows we used to raise a lot of pigs had chickens we had a pretty good size farm for the area there is one place up there up by the top of that hill you can maybe see those houses up there um, that they used to um, uh, a farmer named by the name of Rail used to be, and they had the biggest farm around this area, but they've since closed down. And like a lot of the smaller Wisconsin farms and everything, they've shut down. And some of the bigger ones, you know, they're going to these big marker milking parlors and all this such. That's rough in there. Be fixing it up pretty soon.
I'm gonna close this door up guys instead of breathing into this thing but there you go a little tour of the farm and uh, what's going on around here since we got a little bit of snow I'm gonna park my set of my snowmobile in the shed here it's covered with salt and ice and stuff from hauling it down I ripped my cover going up to the UP and it um, was no good so I had to bring it home last night in a blizzard and tried all this so I'm gonna leave it in here and next weekend when I get home I think I'm gonna be going to this other ordeal up in Townsend so I'm gonna put some heat on here and get all the junk melted off it clean it up a little bit so until next time guys I'll see you later have a great day and if you like this click on the subscribe to the right of subscribe is the bell click the bell and give me a thumbs up and down below write in the comments and I'll try to get back to you see ya